Hello everybody, I must tell you that there aren't many cities that have a love of football quite like Glasgow. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company in the commentary box today is of course Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Celtic up against Dundalk. Thanks Derek, well the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, well drilled defensively and are a threat on the counter-attack. If the hosts don't go through though, it will be a major upset. Celtic. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, they know they need to stop him. Can he play it in? Well, he really read that brilliantly. Might be able to set up the chance. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Very quick thinking there. Kyogo Furuhashi. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Must take the lead here. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. And he's in. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Hatate, plenty of options. 
In behind for him to chase. And fine goalkeeping. Favouring the short one. A good and fair challenge. Breaking at pace. Well, a joy to watch. Could cross it in here. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? The athleticism, the connection, the accuracy, that's a great goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Plenty of support here. But quick thinking defensively. And the counter looks on here. Options available. All hands on deck. Chance to cross. Well, it looks highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Rio Hatate. And a good looking ball. Well read to ease the pressure. And now passing it through. It has to be. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? He's driven in the corner. High-class defending right on the goal line. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Another corner. <laughs> Who can he pick out? And so it is, the first half story has been written. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Determined defending. Can they hit on the break? 
Oh, a lovely ball. Well, I must say it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Kyogo Furuhashi. Promising possession, this. A really sumptuous ball. The end product just wasn't there. Now can they counter clinically? Maeda. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Gives it a go. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. They favoured a short one here. Carter Vickers. Can he put it away? He got a good palm on it. Well, he took care of it defensively. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. He could pick out a teammate. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Can they create something from here? Oh, a lovely incisive pass. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Options in the centre. Might go ahead. Brilliantly blocked. Will he? And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And a good looking ball. But it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating. He's been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Inside the final 15 minutes. Good tackle. And the attack looks promising. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Breaking at pace. All in all, a broken counter attack. And 
chance to an attacking position. It's not too late for them. There's a slide draw pass. Surely brilliantly blocked. So a personnel change then. Let's to go short. He's in control of the situation. And possession given away. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Maeda. And Moy with it. Moy, and with that, the attack fizzles out. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Could be, and fired against the crossbar. And the danger cleared. And there goes the final whistle. A home defeat to begin the group stage, and they're going to have to make up for this in future games. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.